I love it. I enjoy doing it. Basically, I'm very good at farming because, as I say, I'm doing it since I'm a kid. So I know when to plant what, how to plant things, when it's ready to reap. I enjoy doing farming. I love it and I'm very proud of it and I'm trying my best to keep it floating. I'm Faradel. Um, and I'm Nita. Welcome to Farm Fresh Caribbean Growers. We do everything fresh, just like the Caribbean. My dad will plant a small, maybe not small really, my dad will work a piece of land. And the first day you go there to start working, he got something in a bag we call side bag. My dad used to have a side bag. So yeah, well, we always have all kind of seeds in that bag. So the very first day you go at that, that spot, he's going to plant some. Mm. Basically, my dad teach me a whole lot. Somebody come to my farm lately and they said they need to work their farm like I did mine because mm -hmm. now they're weeding a lot of grass from their farm and there's nothing in that space they're weeding the grass from. Every inch of that land I plant something on that and they farm. So I got, I got to be careful walking sometimes but I don't want to step on some of my product. As soon as I wake up from sleeping, I'll be on the farm. Sometimes even before it fully lit, light out, I'll be there because I, I love it. If there's any soil at all, I'm going to try to plant some. So eventually I tarred out something small and it started to grow and I'm really happy for that. I grew callaloo, I grew um, kale, cucumber, watermelon, cantaloupe. Um, I, I have uh, Swiss chard kale. I basically put in um, other Peppa. type of things. Yeah. Um, tomato we did this year. Lettuce. Very successfully. Mm -hmm. The tomato was a really, really good, really surprising. Yes. It was. How, how much, how fruitful. <laughs> yes, it was it because was. it wasn't a lot. Yeah. But yet it wasn't a lot of plants, but we reap a lot of tomato. The okra. Yeah, I forget about that. I plant so much things. I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> In anything, you can start real small, mm -hmm. but and, and save towards your growth. Mm -hmm. Because, take for instance, I got a, a hundred dollars and I want to start a farm. I'm gonna start at something small. Buy only two items. Buy a little onion. Buy a little mm -hmm. li little thing that you can buy and start with that. Try to save as much as I can. Then the next time I can buy tomato, I can buy carrots, I can buy kale. So that's how I like to do things and move up. Because what happened to me, this is one of the best years for me, what happened to me this year. Because I'm not lucky, I never tell myself, I'm never lucky enough to get something without working really hard for it. And I see that happen, especially from Black Farmer from this year. And I really appreciated that. That, that helped me to push out more or to plant a lot more stuff next year. And he's not talking about funding. He's talking about the one day that Black Farmer Fund came for work day. That's what he's referring to. That was great. I, 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 because I never used to believe that somebody could have come and work like that for us before. You know, just help out somebody else. Everybody push it, put their heart in it. They work like, like, like how I would work. You know? mm -hmm. And it's, it's become a blessing. Mm -hmm. You know, she is a blessing, and she met, um, she allowed me to meet Christine, which is blessing. Then she meet with me, Shane, with me, you guys, Black Farmer Fund, yeah. which become more of a blessing. So 